Hello, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the Girl Scout Trefoil. Uh, I had a request for it recently. Uh, somebody is going to be doing these at camp with a bunch of Girl Scouts. So I said I would do a video on how I would do it, just to see if we can rough out some edges here. So what I've done is I found a free clip art and made myself a template. Uh, and I'll put a video uh, my video on how I make these templates. These are cutting boards I get from the dollar store and they make for a nice template. Anyways, um, so what I'm starting with is a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash. It's been spun out so it's just barely damp right now and I've centered it so that means I've just pulled the front of the t-shirt forward. So when I have a video for that I'll put a link to that down in the description box. So what I'm going to do now, this here is the center of the front of the t-shirt. So I'm going to just line this trefoil up on that edge there. And then I use a washable marker. Uh, this brand is called, oh I guess this one is a Crayola. So I either use Crazy Art or Crayola. They work really well and you get a pack of washable markers. They almost always wash all the way out, but sometimes there'll be a little spot that doesn't. So that's why I work on the inside of the t-shirts. Just so if I have a random spot, it's on the inside instead of the outside of the t-shirt. So, to start with, I just draw my design on there with the washable marker. And then we're just going to start folding it. And the way I usually will do that, I'll zoom in just a little bit is I'm going to go along here and what I want to do is have my folds end right when I get to that little spot there so that that part there is on the downward fold that just makes it easier to transition to the next part when you have a tight corner like this. So I might adjust the height of my fold a little bit just to make sure that that's where I end up with there and over here. Anytime you have a really tight corner my preference is to have that end on that last fold. So when I fold that part is down and then that makes it able to fold the next part over right there. Anyways, let's just get into this t-shirt here. So I'm going to do little accordion folds. They're probably a quarter inch tall. I do anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch. The main thing is that when you tie it, it doesn't collapse up on itself. If you go too skinny, that's what's going to happen. So you have to have enough of a fold so that when you tie it it stays firm right there. So as I go I'm kind of adjusting here so I'm going to do one little short fold so you can see I'm right towards the end here so now I'm going to fold that little bit down and then the next fold here let's see if I can get this so you can see it so the next fold, I'm kind of just folding it across and laying this line up with that line that's going down. So that's, that's the way that I go around tight corners like that, is just by folding that last bit down and then folding the other part across. So, and then I, I'll adjust this so that that one is going down. I always like to make sure that all of my lines are going straight down this way instead of off to the side because that's when your folds start to go off at an angle. So always make sure that you're coming up and down straight over top of that edge there. So we'll go on to the next one here. And I always like to line my t-shirt up so that whatever I'm folding next is coming straight at me. And that just helps then with this accordion fold as I go up and down. So I'm reaching under and pushing that up to the late right where I want with this finger underneath here. And then this finger I can lay it down nice and flat and line it up. So this finger is going under, pressing that up, and then this finger is pressing it down. So that's just completing the fold. The other way that you can do your little accordion folds is you can reach out and just pinch a little bit there and then lay that next to it. So it's just a matter of finding what works the best for you, what your comfort is. So now as I'm getting close to the end of this run here, I am looking at that little tight corner there. 
so I'm going to adjust my folds accordingly. So I'm going to make a couple shorter folds. So really I'm just, instead of folding all the way down to the bottom, there's a little bit of a gap down here. So that way when I fold the last fold here, so we're going to go up one more time. So I have just a little bit left. I'm going to go up. and then fold that one down. So that's just a little bit, but that's just enough there so that that's on the downward fold. And then this next one gets laid right up next to it and you kind of have to twist it around a little bit. But since you're working with fabric, you can manipulate that how you like and that keeps that fold going. So like I say, you can see that this here is just a little bit of a funky crease there. But the main thing is just getting everything lined in because when I tie this up, then that's going to be my die line. Okay, so now once I have that all lined up there, now I'm going to use my kite string. And what I'll usually do is wrap the kite string around a couple times and I give it just a little bit of a pull, I can hear it kind of lock into place there. It's not quite the same as sinew, but it does kind of want to lock into place. But I was just a little bit off, so we're going to rewrap that. Just so that I can be right on my line. Okay, so that's a good fold there. So we're going to tie this off. And then I usually like to go ahead and scrunch up the middle part here, whatever I've done, just scrunch that up a little bit. And since I'm still tied right here, I can just wrap that around a couple times just to gather it up and then tie that off in the same place. Okay, now the other thing, when he showed me a picture of what he wanted to do, he had a spiral around the trefoil. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and pull this out flat, and I'm pulling the t-shirt out just right up to the line. You want to be careful just how much you pull it. You don't want to pull up past your, your line here. Well, let's turn this around where I have the line. So I'm just pulling this fabric so that I can lay this t-shirt out with the trefoil poking up from the middle here. And then the rest of the t-shirt is laid out as flat as you can get it with all that gathered up. And now putting the spiral around it, and this here will work with anything. I have another video up where I did this with a football shape and I'll probably be doing it with a baseball shape. But this here is just a way that you can put a spiral around it. So you just gather everything up that you want, tie it off so that's poking up. Let's put a little line on this here so you can see that. So this here is sticking up from the t-shirt. And now I'm going to grab that whole thing and push down so that I'm also twisting the back of the t-shirt. So you're just using that as your center spot for twisting your spiral. Okay, now we're back to put some color on the, the trefoil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I like to outline my my design. So I'm going to use some thick black dye to outline this. But you could also just go ahead and go for it and just dye that. But I'm going to put some thick black dye on here. And I use this cuticle pusher to press it down inside just a little bit. And we're going to turn that over and do the other side. I 
press that in. And then I'm going to dye this with a light green or a bright green. And I'll usually start a little bit away from the black line here, just with a, leave a little bit of a white gap there. And that way the dye can spread on its own without immediately wanting to soak immediately through the line. So and I just hold the shirt sideways here so that I can just dye and have the dye go straight down in instead of it wanting to immediately run down out of the trefoil. So now I'm going to dye the rest of the shirt. This here is something then that I take this part of the trefoil and I just stick it in between my fingers right there so that I can hold that in my hand and dye without this here because if you lay this down flat that part is going to flop over onto the t-shirt. So this way I can keep that separate and what I'm going to do is well, let's first draw some lines on here. So we're going to draw some pie shapes on. I'm going to use three colors. The light green, the dark green, and a dark blue around this. So let's go with the light green first. So I'm just going to do opposite places here or opposite pieces of pie. So I'm going to color two with each of the colors. So we'll go across and do this one. And this will give me kind of a pinwheel looking spiral. And I'm going to do the same colors. So I'm going to start out with my dark green. And I can see my two lines here. So we'll just bring that right up to the center. Okay. So that's dyed. Now the other thing I'm going to do is go back and I'm going to look here. That dye has pretty much spread all the way up but I can see just a couple light spots so I'm gonna just touch up right along the line just a little bit sometimes there'll be more white left over there but this one here I got pretty good and the dye spread all the way up right to the black line so we just touch it up a little bit and then there's the trefoil and I'll have the results I'm going to let this batch for 48 hours and then I'll have the results at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And there's a Girl Scout trefoil. So, a video for that will be coming up soon.